Hi, this is a demo how to create a multi-step uh, repetitive screens by using just a single screen. So uh, this is how it works. Uh, you have the intro screen and you have several steps. For example, you can go to the previous step, you can go to the next step. And when you pass all the intro or all the screens, uh, you get to the intro pass screen. Uh, however, this is done just with one intro, intro screen. And I will show you how to do that. This approach could be used when you have the uh, several screens of the same type, for example, intro onboarding questionnaire. I'll show how to create it from the very beginning. So I have created the, mm, the prototype. We have the home page and we have the intro screen which in our case will contain uh, the image, uh, the text and two buttons. And we have the intro past screen. Uh, so when the intro ends, uh, then you get to the screen. So, and to start the intro, we have this uh, intro button. So how can we do, uh, how can we solve these problems that uh, we need, we use just one screen. So we're gonna use the list. Uh, before doing that, let's create the intro database. So uh, let's add a collection, call it intro, call it intro. So, uh, and we have the uh, name. Also we have the, let's add a property of image. So it will be intro, then let's add the property of uh, oh, we will use the tech uh, the name as a text property and we will add several other pro properties so first we need to add the ID the it will be the number intro step ID uh, here we will store the uh, ID uh, the ID of the current intro step and also, as I want uh, this uh, intro to be completely data-driven, so that next step will depend on the database, not on the logic in the app. So we will have the property of intro number property of next step ID. And we will have the property of previous step ID. So let's uh, fill in this collection. Yeah. Uh, so I have the, uploaded uh, the uh, intro steps. We will have four steps. Uh, so uh, a little explanation. So for each step, we have the intro step ID. You can see that it's one, two, three, and four. Uh, for the next step ID, uh, we are putting the uh, identification of the uh, next step. Uh, we need to work with the corner cases though. So for the last step, we will put uh, 999. And for the first step, the previous step ID, we'll put zero. So uh, with these uh, step IDs, we can set up the logic of uh, displaying the intro steps. So, okay, we have created the database, that's fine. So then let's create the logic in the app. So uh, I have already put image, text, and two buttons here. Let's uh, make a list out of them. So make list. It's gonna be a list of uh, intro. Uh, and uh, it's too long, so maximum number will be one. Uh, let's make it shorter. Okay. Uh, so for the image, we will be displaying the uh, current intro illustration. For the text, we will be displaying the current intro name. And then uh, let's add the logic to buttons. In order to uh, store the current intro step, uh, we need to uh, have some uh, record in the database to store it. So uh, let's add the uh, this field to the users database. So um, we already have one temporary variable. Uh, uh, let's uh, sorry. Let's add another one. 
it will be a number uh, and it will be let's call it a TMP intro step okay so uh, now we are ready to add the logic to buttons uh, for uh, the next button uh, we will uh, add the action that we update a logged in user and we update the variable of uh, intro step uh, to the current intro uh, next step ID uh, for the previous buttons. We will add an action that we update uh, the logged in user uh, intro step to the current intro previous step ID. Uh, and uh, as we want to display just one uh, just one uh, step at, at a time. So we will need to add a filter for this list. So uh, we filter uh, not just all intro, but that uh, intro step ID is equal to logged in user intro step ID. So uh, let's work with corner cases then. So uh, when we reach the fourth step, uh, then uh, we don't have uh, any more steps and we have 999 in our database. So uh, let's add this logic to uh, this button. So we update the user that next step ID will be 999. And then we add another conditional action. So we link to intro past screen. Uh, and we do it if only sometimes if logged in user intro step is equal to 999 and the, we do the same with the previous button so that we link to the home screen uh, only sometimes when the logged in user intro step is equal to zero and uh, when we start the intro we need to initialize the variable so uh, let's update the logged in user uh, intro step and set it to one okay so it seems that everything is ready let's test so we run the application uh, intro so this is the first step. Set up your settings in your home page. Next. Please read terms and condition. Next. We protect your privacy. Next. Keep your password secure. And then we need to, we should go to the intro pass screen. Success. Thanks for passing the intro. Wonderful. Uh, and what if we do some more tests? We go back. Oh, I forgot to make a link to home. So uh, action link to home screen. Uh, by the way, uh, we could add the uh, step identification here. Step current. Let's take it from the current user. Okay, another test. Intro. Step one. And what would if we press previous? Okay, good. Uh, the result is expect as expected. We get to home screen. And uh, step two. Step three. Previous. Step two. Next. Once again previous. Once again previous. Okay, so here is how you could save your time instead of creating a lot of screens. Uh, you can create a one screen and you create a data-driven uh, logic uh, for the uh, multiple repetitive uh, screen displays.